since we're going to print invitations to a birthday party, we have to make them first. And because we're going to print, we open up our screen capture software before we actually make the card. In this case, since we don't own one, we're going to use the one that comes free in Windows 10. So come down here to your search bar, click in it, and type in SNP, a space, and an ampersand. And that will bring up SNP and Sketch. And so with that, we're going to open it. And we'll just leave it here on the screen and go back over to the application. With the screen capture open, I'm going to go into full screen mode to create our card. So I'll click here in full screen mode. You can see I can escape by pressing the escape key. Now I'm going to go to more. I'm going to add a background. I could go to backgrounds and choose a card since we're creating an invitation card. There might be something here I like. And there's all kinds of cards here to choose from. But rather than do that, since I have donated or have a subscription, then the search is unlocked. So with uh, the search unlocked, I'm going to type in Pirates. I'm going to create my own card. So that's going to look up the entire set of Pirate Art. And now I can go down through and choose the background I want. And I think I'm going to choose this one right here. And now I can go back and get some clip art. So I'm going to come back. And the entire shot set is still here. Now I want to tell it that I wanted this clip art though. So I'm going to click here to tell it that the art that's on there needs to be loaded as clip art. So now that after I've clipped on clip art, I'm going to choose this pirate right here. And he comes up as clip art. I want to get rid of this menu, so I'll go off the screen, and I will click off the canvas, and I'm going to bring him down here. He's headed the wrong direction, so up here in my active object toolbar, I can go and do flip, so I flipped him around. I'm going to make him a little bigger, so I'll come to the lower left corner. I will drag this lower left corner down to about the size that I want. Okay. And now he's sitting about where I want. I want to go back and get some more clip art. I know that there's a, there's a parrot. I like this parrot here. Now I make sure that I have clipped on clip art first. So it knows I want this as clip art, not as a background. So I'll come back down now after hitting clip art. I'll click on the one I want. And I want to get rid of that little menu. So I'll click off the canvas. I'm going to bring him down here. Put him on the cannon, but I want him a little smaller. So I'm going to get over in his left-hand corner here. I'm going to drag this in. I'm going to place him down here on top of the cannon. And there's the card the way I want it to be. I'll come up here to add text. I'll click in. Now that I've put in the first section, I'm going to bring it over here about where I want it to be. Right-click, and that will allow me to bring up the small menu. And rotate. I'm going to put in the next portion. I'm going to right-click. Okay, there we go. I click off to get rid of my menu. I want this A80 pretty big. I'll grab the lower right corner. Size is about how I want. And then this one here, okay. Now let's put in the where it's going to be located. I'll get my mouse right in the center i'm going to right click back just a little bit there we go i want this pretty good size easy to read and now let's drag this down into here a little bit i want this a little bit bigger There we go. And here, let's even get this a little bit bigger. All right. Now that's looking pretty good. Uh, I don't really like the font for this. I could change each one individually by clicking on it and then clicking the font. But if I go over here to all fonts and click on that, that will be all the text. So that will make all the boxes active. And now when I choose a font, there's a nice one there. But I'm going to use this old English one down here. No, that's a little too fancy. Let's try this old English. Oh, I like that one. That's a good pirate one.
right there. Now this color needs changed, and I could there again I could choose I could select each one and come up here on the palette and choose the color for each one. If I do that, then all colors won't change it. So I want to do them all together. So there again, I'm going to choose all text here. Now all my text is chosen. I'll go to the all text color box. I'm going to go down here and grab the tool, selection tool. I'm going to get a color out of here. I want one of these dark, dark blues. Right there, that dark blue. Uh, that's not quite dark enough. So I'm going to come up here. Since it's got my family, I'm just going to move this down towards darker. And yet it stays in the family. There we go. And that's ready to go. Now I'm ready to print. So I'm going to hold down on my Alt key, my Tab key, and go over to Snip and Sketch. I will choose New and Snip Now. That opens up the screen saver. I'm going to go right up here in the corner and come drag, holding down my left mouse button. I'll drag down to the other corner of what I want to capture. Let go. Now it snapped a picture of it and brought it over into Snip and Sketch. So now in Snip and Sketch, I can come up here and I can save it to my hard drive, or I can print it by coming over here to see more. The, those three buttons, click on it. Come down to print, and I can go ahead, and from here, I will choose my printer, I will choose my alignment, and I will print it. Have a great party!